a lot of huge news to cover with this video so i'm gonna jump right into it if you can tell by the title brand new manga series not a one shot according to the description of what i read it is a brand new series by akira toriyama if you don't know who that is if you've been living under a rock that is the author mangaka of dragon ball dragon ball z and even dr slump if you've heard of that that was a huge series as well and to hear that he's actually doing a new series, because throughout the years, Akira Toriyama just does one-shots. He does, you know, uh, he did Sandland, he just does a bunch of comedy one-shots. But to hear that it's an actual series, makes me wonder how long is this going to go on, and what is it exactly going to be about. The title of it is Galactic Patrol Jocko. So, I'm wondering if it's going to be more comedic based. I'm guessing it's going to be more along the lines of like the original Dragon Ball with maybe a little bit of action here or there. But it's going to be more so based on like trying to do light comedy maybe in a way with maybe his little pervy comedy that he does as well. That's where I'm thinking he's going to try to go with this one. The fact of the matter is that this came out of nowhere. Nobody saw this one coming. Akira Toriyama doing a manga, brand new manga. This is freaking amazing. I can't wait till we get more info on it. There's a uh, screenshot of it, of um, the upcoming, you know, the art for it or whatever. I will link everything that I talk about in this video in the description so you can check it out. But Akira Toriyama and Shonen Jump. Enough said. Now, uh, another big thing that was announced was two more characters for the uh, Jump Stars Victory vs. Video Game. One is Gintoki from Gintama, a pretty, you know, relevant character and... I'm overall excited to see, you know, how he plays. Apparently, he's going to have some sort of scooter or something. And also, a character from Kochikami that I'm really not familiar with. I, I, I've i heard of Kochikami. It's apparently one of the biggest selling mangas. And it's still ongoing and jump for years and years. But I'm not really all that excited. And to be honest with you, if they can put him in the game, then they damn sure better put some of the other people that I want. I wrote down a little bit of a list of my ideal roster of everything that's available in Jump, whether it be some stuff that moved to their monthly magazine or whatnot. And I'm going to read it off to you guys. And yeah, this is my ideal list for the Jump roster, aside from everything that's been announced. Now, we got Yusuke Yurameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho, Gon Freaks from uh, Hunter Hunter, Seiya from Saint Seiya, Dark Snyder from Bastard, Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star, Jojo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, I wouldn't mind having the dude from Siren, I still don't know much about him, uh, Yugi from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Gama from Zombie Powder, yes, Kubo, we haven't forgot Zombie Powder, uh, Alan Walker... Uh, the, dude, the dude from uh, Neuro Rise of the Yokai Clan, and by the way, Alan Walker, if you don't know who that is, then you are missing out on an amazing series called D. Gray Man. Uh, really awesome. I've been watching it lately, and Alan Walker for the win. And Olga from Bilzy Bub, Olga Tatsumi. Uh, Sunayoshi Sawada from Hit Mary Born. Uh, Claire from Claymore, that's a monthly series, but it's still connected to Jump. And last but not least, Skune from Rosario Vampire, another cool-ass series. So those are my ideal characters that I want in the game. Hopefully they can put this together, because if you got Kochikami's main character, and no one gives a shit about, I don't know who's buying those volumes anymore, except old-timers, then you can have some of those people in the game. I'm just saying. Now, another two big shockers is that apparently there's this new thing going to be called Jump Live, and it's going to be manga that is going to be on the smartphones. Now, I'm not exactly sure what it is, so take this mostly as rumors, but from my understanding, there's going to be two series on that from the author of Neuro Rise of the Yokai Clan, as well as the author of Hitman Reborn, Akira Amano. Forgive me, I don't know the name of the manga for uh, Neuro Rise of the Yokai Clan, but... Now I'm really interested. Is it going to be a continuation? Is it going to be spin-offs of Reborn and Neura? I'm really interested because I remember there was an image a while back of uh, a possible Von Gola of the future or whatever. Really hoping. I don't even care if it's one or two pages a week. If we can get some new Reborn or some new... Well, Neura, I'm not really that into it. I just started getting into that as well. But regardless of what... That is freaking awesome news. I want more Akita Amano in Shonen Jump because she does some freaking awesome stuff. Hit Mary Born for the win. I'll keep saying it. Overall, freaking action-packed 
week of news and one last thing I want to talk about for Naruto Storm 3 players if you're still playing Storm 3 there's apparently going to be some DLC of Sage Mode Kabuto and possibly even some uh, story with it as well like you'll be able to play a story mode of uh, some parts of Naruto where there's a Sage Mode Kabuto whatever so that might be in as well it's kind of already confirmed but I'm not exactly sure about the stages it's going to be downloadable like a, a new uh, level you play in the story mode or something I'm not sure about that but either way that's freaking awesome that they're still supporting Storm 3 with DLC because to be honest with you I thought that that was it they cut it off they were going to move on to the next project but the fact that they're, they're still supporting it might mean that we might not need a Storm 4 at this point which in, in a way it's a bummer because I would have liked you know a whole reinvention or even not Storm 4 but just a whole different Naruto uh, game in general but at the same time that's still freaking awesome that you know pay one two three dollars and get some new story mode for storm 3 so freaking awesome let me know what you think most exciting thing that was announced for me personally uh it, it gotta be either akira toriyama getting a series which oh my god akira toriyama now it can again don't get too hype me i'm a akira toriyama fanboy because everything that he's done i at least at the very least enjoyed whether it be his gag one shots um you know, Sandland, uh, I think he did something called Kintoki, or Kintoki, I forget what it was, but that was freaking awesome, and just overall, I'm a, I'm a fan of his, but um, that's probably one of my favorites, as well as the Mon Club Hitman Reborn still somewhat being involved with Jump, with this Jump Live, there will be more news to come hopefully soon, so we'll get more clarification on this, but... A lot of awesome news. Let me know what you think. Most excited thing. And just your real thoughts on anything that I covered in this video. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for amazing news videos like this. Because goddamn, I just had fun talking about all this stuff. Uh, up for the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.